Hello, welcome to Dawa CIT. This is a part 6 of Bootstrap. Today, I am going to show you how to create page layouts using Bootstrap. In the previous video, we have already discussed about how to create containers, rows and columns, right? So now, without First, we analyze what type of pages we create, okay? I mean, how many rows and columns are required to complete design? Everything we draw the structure already, okay? Now, I will create the pages like this. So now, without delay, let's start. I am using .NET Framework. If you are working on other platforms like Java, PHP and HTML, then you can use, no problem, whatever you use, okay? Because Bootstrap is fully open source framework and it supports any platform. I mean, the way of Bootstrap's classes are used as the same in any platform, okay? Now, we need a Bootstrap files, CSS and JS. If you don't have and you don't know how to download, then you watch my last video, Bootstrap Tutorial 2. After download it, copy this folder and paste in your project. Okay, right click here, click on paste. Now copy important bootstrap files and paste in header section one by one. Okay, bootstrap.css. jQuery 3.3.1.min.js bootstrap.js Now type here class container Div class row div class. export header now we add CSS file right click here add add new item and select style sheet Now type here header height border to picture solid white border text align Center. Then 
factor plus s set index move this css file in header section and type here id filter header control plus s save and execute see this is the header part and you can add here logo with your company name you know anything you can add here okay now we create a navigation okay come back to the visual studio type here div class row div class column div jewel navigation bar Open CSS as Napper height forty pixel. Picture solid white. Text align. Center. Control plus S. Set. Now this navbar will be defined in navigation div section, right? ID equal to navbar. Control plus S, save, open browser and refresh. See, this is a navigation bar and you can show here multiple menu like home, about us, contact us, etc. Okay. Now we display here two columns. One is sidebar and other main content. Okay. So come back to the Visual Studio again. Type here div class raw div class call md g Sidebar and another we created one columns. Okay, div class column D line. Main 
In my previous video, I already told that in bootstrap there are 12 columns across the pages, right? See, 3 plus 9 equal to 12 columns, right? Both these columns are inside in one row. Open CSS has sidebar. height 480 pixel background color silver border Pixel solid white text align center. Same, okay, for empty picture, background color, silver, border, two picture, solid, white, text seven. Ctrl plus S, set, and type here, ID equal to sidebar, ID Man content Ctrl plus S save open browser and repress. You just remember that before ID defined in the row section, right? Define in the row section, but here ID defined in column section. Okay. In this sidebar, we can display menu list like important topics and here we can display only main content just like a content placeholder. Now is the turn to create footer. Come back to the Visual Studio. Type here div class row MD 12 footer open CSS has footer Background color 
सिल्वर बॉर्डर जो पिक्चर सॉलिड वाइट टेस्ट लाइन सेंटर कंट्रोल प्लस एस सेव ओपन ब्राउजर नो 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 ओपन इंडेक्स पेज एंड टाइप योर आईडी आईडी इक्वल टू फोटर कंट्रोल प्लस एस सेव Open browser and refresh. Footer created. Okay. See, this is a very simple page that we created by using Footstep. Okay. But one important point you will be remember that whenever you create responsive website, then don't give you high pixel. Okay. Because sometimes problem created. So I recommend you high should be always auto. Okay. Let's see what kind of problem created. See what happening when minimize the size of browser. See, the page is not responsive in the proper way, right? So we change high picture. Auto. If you want, then give it. Okay. Control plus S save. Control plus S save and refresh browser. See, this is a complete responsive page layout. By using Bootstrap, okay. Now throw CSS. How to create responsive page layouts? I will tell you on my next video. Till then, you will have to wait and connect with us, okay. Hope you liked, and I will catch you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.